This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Use the code ANDREWJAMES to get 10% off your first purchase. What's going on everyone? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. Today I've got a quick tutorial for you guys on this advanced sort of eye transition type thing. It's kind of funny, I just realized it's been like a little while since I've done like a full on tutorial. So I thought we'd do a comeback video with a highly requested tutorial of mine that's based on my anyone can create video. So I'm going to try to keep this one brief. If you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And without further ado guys, let's hop on the computer and start talking about this effect. Alright everyone, so we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro where I like to start off all of my videos and as always guys I've got both of these clips right here available for you to download in the description below so if you guys want to follow along with this tutorial don't hesitate to just hit that drive link and download these clips now I'm gonna go ahead and select both of them right click and hit replace with After Effects composition first thing I'm gonna do is rename both of these layers I'll rename this one I and the bottom one water I'm gonna go ahead and take this water layer drag it on top of the eye layer and I also need to decide how long I actually want this transition to be. I think I'm going to make this transition about four seconds long. So I'll drag the water on top of that and I'm going to bring over the timeline and just trim the comp to the work area. Cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and just turn off this water layer, go down to the eye, right click and hit pre-compose, move all attributes into new composition. And now what we have to do is we just have to track out this eye right here. So I encourage you guys to just track this out with whatever method you feel most comfortable. If you feel most comfortable trying to use like the camera tracker or just using the pen tool and manually masking it out, just do whatever you feel most comfortable with. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna use Mocha Pro. If you don't have Mocha Pro, you can use Mocha AE that comes built in with After Effects. I'm gonna open up Mocha and I'm just gonna draw a quick mask around this pupil it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna be feathering it up later anyways something just like that and I'm gonna go ahead and just track on through cool so Mocha just finished tracking through I'm gonna go down to export shape data Mocha shape data for AE copy to clipboard we'll close Mocha and now I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this eye layer drag it to the top I'm gonna name this eye mask then what I'm gonna do is create a new solid layer by going to layer new solid and we're gonna name this layer matte. I'm gonna go ahead and paste the mocha mask and then I'm gonna take this eye mask layer and I'm gonna to go to the track mat and I'm gonna make it the alpha mat. So now if we turn everything off, you can see that it's just the eye, but we don't wanna see that part of the eye, we wanna invert it. So I'll go to the mat layer and just check the box for invert. Cool, so now we've got this nice tracked mask to the eye and what we're gonna go ahead and do is take this water layer and we're just gonna scale it down as much as we can. I'm also going to go back to the matte layer and I'm just going to feather this up. I'm going to bring it up to about 80. We actually might have to adjust the position of this a bit so you don't see the hard edge. And now what we're going to do is select all of our layers. We're going to change toggle switches and modes and we're going to check the 3D box for all of the layers. The next thing we're going to do is go up to layer, new, camera, 50 millimeters is okay. We'll hit okay. Now find the spot where you want the transition to end, where you want it to end on the eye. I'd say probably about right here i'm going to select the drop down arrow for camera go to transform and keyframe position and point of interest now I'll move back a little bit in the video and this is important go up to the view where it just says one view and i'm going to select that and change it to two views horizontal my right is the active camera and my left is the top and this is just a top perspective of the 3D space. And what I'm gonna do is just move this 3D camera in, just something sort of like that. So now I can change it back to one view. I'm gonna select all these keyframes and change them to easy ease. And then I'm gonna take one layer at a time, head into the graph editor, and we're gonna do some keyframe interpolation. Just drag these handlebars close to each other so you sort of have this sharp peak. I'll do that for both of the sets of keyframes, just trying to create that sharp sort of spike. So when we play through, you can see it's a nice, smooth zoom transition. All right, cool, so we're flying right on through this. The next thing that we have to do is we're gonna go down to our water layer. We're gonna duplicate the water layer and name the top one water opacity full. And then we're gonna turn off that layer for the time being, go down to the base layer, and we're gonna duplicate this two times, one, two. For the first two layers, we're gonna change the blending modes to overlay. And for the third layer, we're gonna change the blending mode to screen and then take the opacity and bring it down to 45%. Very nice, very nice. Now we'll go ahead and take this water opacity full layer. We're gonna go about to where we want the opacity to start fading off. We'll hit T on our keyboard, keyframe the opacity, move in a bit to about around here and bring the opacity all the way down. 
And the last thing we're going to do is add an adjustment layer and we're going to add the effect CC force motion blur. And there you guys have it. That is the base effects that I use to create my zooming out eye transition. So I'm going to go ahead and ram preview it and we can watch our work. All right, so just finished ram previewing. All right, everyone, so that's how to do this super, super cool, smooth zoom transition. Now, real quick, guys, I'd like to thank our sponsor once again, which is Squarespace. Now, if you guys don't know what Squarespace is, Squarespace is a beautiful all-in-one platform to build amazing websites and increase your online presence. I personally use Squarespace. I've used Squarespace way before these sponsorships or anything like that. If you guys want to check out the website I made on Squarespace, the domain is andrewjmes.com. For my website, I went for a very minimalist approach. I really just wanted it to be a, a showcase of my work, but Squarespace Squarespace made it so easy to do that. We've got a home with my anyone can create video. I have a my work section and Instagram. I have an Instagram page where it shows some of my Instagram photos and it just displays them in a very nice pattern. Down at the bottom, you can see I've got my website and everything like that. I personally went with a minimalist approach, but there are so many different templates and presets and things like that that you can use to create extraordinary, beautiful websites. Portfolios are so key to getting clients, so I strongly encourage you guys to use Squarespace to build your portfolio. So head to squarespace.com to start your free trial and when you're ready to launch your site use the code andrew james to get 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain all right there you guys have it that's how to do this super super smooth eye zoom transition if you guys enjoy this effect and post it on instagram then tag me at andrew jms thank you guys so much for watching this video this was a quick one but i hope you guys learned something new as always guys be sure to subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one peace